Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we're going to continue with our admin commands by adding a new command to our list. This time, we're going to do slash trail, and this will give a trail behind the player whenever they walk around. To do that, we can say slash trail, and then me, and then when we press enter, whenever the player moves around the game, they're going to have a trail behind them. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go over to the server script service and open up the admin commands. All right, so we're gonna be adding our new command inside of our actions list. To do that, I'm gonna put a comma, and then I'm gonna press enter to put it on a new line. After that, I'm gonna put quotation marks and then the name of our command. So it's gonna be slash and then trail. Now that we have that, we can work on our function. So we're gonna scroll down a little bit. I'm gonna be putting this new function right below the jump function. So let's go ahead and say local function. The name of the function is gonna be trail. Inside the parentheses, we're gonna put player. The first thing we're gonna do inside this function is we're gonna to check to see if the player already has a trail. So we'll say local trail is gonna be equal to player dot character colon find first child inside the parentheses we're going to put quotation mark and then trail with a capital T then we're going to say if not trail so that would mean they don't have a trail inside of them then what we're going to do is we're going to say local new trail is going to be equal to instance dot new Inside the parentheses, I'm going to put a quotation mark and then trail. And now we're just going to be setting some properties of the trail. So first we're going to say new trail dot parent is going to be equal to player dot character. And the trail is going to need two attachments that we have to assign to it. And whenever these move, that's what creates the trail. So let's go and start by saying new trail dot attachment zero. And this is going to be equal to player dot character dot humanoid root part and then inside the humanoid root part there's an attachment so we're going to say dot root rig attachment okay and that sets our first one and then we need to set a second one so we're going to say new trail dot attachment one this is going to be equal to player dot character dot head and then we're going to say dot neck rig attachment. Okay, so now that we have our two attachments, the last thing we're going to do is set the color for it. So we're going to say new trail dot color. And this is going to be equal to color sequence dot new. Inside the parentheses, we're going to say color three dot from RGB. And then here we're going to assign the RGB values. And inside the parentheses, we're going to put three different numbers. The first one is going to be how much red. The second one will be how much green. And the third one will be how much blue. So I want this color sequence to go between red and green. So to do that, I'm going to put 255 for the red. I'm going to put zero for the green. And then zero for the blue. Okay, in between the last two parentheses, I'm going to put a comma. And then I'm going to put another color. So we're going to say color three dot from RGB. And since I want it to go from red to green, the second one needs to be green. So I'm going to put zero for the red value, 255 for the green, and then zero for the blue value. All right, and that should do it for this function. So let's come down here and we're going to add it to our main function. So we'll say else if, and then we're going to say action equal to, and then we're going to say slash trail then and then we'll go ahead and run our function by saying trail and then inside the parentheses we'll put player all right so let's go ahead and test it out and make sure it works okay so we'll try it out down here i'm going to say slash trail and then me and then press enter and then whenever my player runs they have a trail and you can see that it starts off red and then goes green All right, so let's go ahead and head back to the script and see how we can turn this off if we want to. 
All right, and the way we're going to do this, instead of adding a new function with something like untrail or trail off, let's just go ahead and add it to the same function. So what we can do is if it finds a trail, then we can just destroy it. So to do that, I'm just going to add an else statement. And here, what I'm going to say is trail, colon, and destroy. All right, and we don't have to add anything to the main function piece. We're just going to be using the same function here. All right, so let's go ahead and test it out. Okay, so I'll go ahead and turn it on. Okay, so we can see I have my trail. And let's go ahead and type the same function to turn it off. And we can see now when the player moves around, they no longer have the trail. If you want to change the color of the trail, you can do that right here on this line. And let's say instead of red to green, I want to go purple to green. Then to do that, I need to make the first one purple. So purple is going to be a mix of red and blue. So I have the red value already, so I just need to add in the blue. And I can do that for the third one. I can type 255. And I can see now it's purple. And if you're not sure which values to put, you can also tap on this little circle right here. And you can set the values this way. So if you want to, you can just pick a color, like maybe black. Press OK. And it'll set it for you. OK, so let's go ahead and see how this looks. OK, so now if I give my player the trail, it should start off purple and then go to green. All right, and it looks like that's what it's doing. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one.